Welcome, finally the video is in. Come in, I'll show you around. And this is a Japanese house, so don't forget to take your shoes off. Welcome to the entrance. This is the special room, we'll see afterwards. So first, let's go upstairs. This is our living area. So, as you can see, we have here a corridor, a lot of books for the whole family, and just behind me, we have the first bedroom, and all the bedrooms have a direct access to balconies, which gives a lot of light. We have one kid bedroom. Then, if you continue following me here, this is the master bedroom where all the magic happens. You can have a look here and I am just started reading this book that we've discussed on a previous video. Let's continue. There's something very interesting I want to show you. So before we go to the third floor, let me show you around here. There's one more bedroom with another balcony here. What's really interesting is this bathroom is really cool. It used to be just one sink, we put two sinks, so it's easier for us. And there's a traditional Japanese bathroom for everybody. As you know, Japanese bathroom always have a shower because you shower before going into the bathtub. Now, I wanted to show you something that's really, really important around here and that you probably heard about. Are the toilets, you know, the Japanese wash, like the famous Toto ones. We have them all across the house. Really, really nice. And in case you never know, you have a remote control for toilet. I never got around that, but we have them. And now the most interesting, what was a very important point, is that this home has a walk-in closet. This is so rare. I'm not gonna show you the details of the closet, but look, there's a very, 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 very large room over there. We almost opened, actually, the wall to go to the master bedroom, but it was a problem because that was a support wall and that would have broken the wall structure of the house. So we stopped, but it's still a very nice place. So follow me to the third floor where you have the wall living area. And yes, we keep going up and down. A lot of exercises, a lot of light. And this house is already people living in it. I'm living in it, so you can see it's not empty. Let's start by this area. You have the living room, very nice. You see all the windows. And my favorite, here, you have a very traditional Japanese sitting area. This table is called a kotatsu, and it's actually warming up during the winter. It's perfect for family time, it's perfect for reading, and for dinner. This was a really good point for this house, but there is more. Look at all those windows makes it really, really bright. And what's important, because we are a cooking family, is this magnificent kitchen. Can you see how big it is? There's a lot of space. It can all equip, even with a dishwasher. This is not so common in Japan yet. It's starting, but not yet. And we had a full oven, full size oven installed because we love baking. And this is very, very uncommon. Another, as I showed you earlier, Another wash light, a very large bathroom here for guests. And I'm not sure we needed that much space, but I really like it. We have a very, very nice rooftop balcony. We haven't had time to actually arrange it the way we want it, but it's very large. There's going to be a wooden deck here. There are going to be tables. We're going to enjoy that very, very much. It's a very quiet neighborhood as well. So you can see some constructions behind me, but all the houses are only three stories, so we have perfect access to a lot of light except today because we're in the rainy season and of course when we want to film it's overcast so now there was if you remember a door i did not open when you just arrived let me show you that secret place and before i open the door and you discover what's hiding behind it let me tell you how i could get this home as a foreigner living in japan and run you through some numbers and if you've liked the visit so far do not hesitate to like it and subscribe for more content like this one. This would help us a lot as well to make this video available to more people. Thank you very much. Let's look at some numbers. Japan still has a very small foreign population when you exclude the US military personnel. We're talking about 2.2% of the total or less than 3 million people out of 126 million people in the country. What that means is that some people still are very reluctant to deal with foreigners, whether it's for business, a restaurant, or selling a house, except 
in the high-end market. As I explained in my other rental property video, I've had a very long-term relationship with my real estate agent. So when we decided to look for our house, we gave her a very detailed brief and she started looking. At the same time, I needed to find a bank to provide me with a loan. Fortunately, a friend of mine just got a loan to build a house. So he introduced me in person to that bank. That bank is called the Prestia Bank and it's part of the Mitsui Sumitomo Banking Group. They are very welcoming and they're very accommodating to non-Japanese or non-Japanese speakers. So I got introduced and I started forming a relationship with them a full year before I even found this house. And that included opening a bank account with them. We actually looked for the house for six to eight months before we found that one. When I say we, actually my better half was the one going and visiting a lot of the houses to see if they were what we were looking for. This house was put on the market on a Wednesday and we went to see it on a Sunday afternoon and we are the first people to visit it. We had our best attire and we had reviewed the polite way of introducing ourselves, which is very important everywhere in the world, especially in Japan. You don't make twice a first impression. They had made this house completely custom built. They had thought about every single detail, the double pane window, all the windows and how they were positioned as you could see on the upper floor. And the heated floor is actually separated between the living room and the kitchen to really be very easy to use. All the little touches were really impressive for us and they really like the kids who put on their best show. We've really, really bonded and we had a lot of communication and understood a lot about each other. As soon as we walked out, we were decided to put in an offer but we were very surprised to see two more families waiting outside to visit the house just after us. So we had to run against the clock. On the same day, our real estate agent got in touch with the previous owner, real estate agent, and put in our offer. By the end of the day, we were the top, the number one in the list of offers. Then I immediately had to run the numbers, see if it was making sense and go to the bank and explain the situation to making sure we would get a loan to be able to go forward. Thanks to the relationship we had already developed, they asked for all the information they needed, I provided it and they were super efficient. I put in an loan application and without exaggerating, in three working days, we got approved. Now, let's look at the numbers. First, let's talk about the size of the house. This house is a little bit over 130 square meters. For you in the US or Australia or Canada, this is probably very small. But for a big city that's very compact, like Tokyo is or Yokohama or Osaka, it's actually a decent sized house. And also, it's a three-year-old house that's still under warranty from the builder. So it's quite a very good deal in that sense. What about the price then? Let me run you through all the numbers. The asking price was just above 90 million Japanese yen. You can see how much it is down there. And we got approved for a loan of 79 million, which means that our down payment was about 15%. You have to add the real estate agent fee, you have to add the closing fee, all the duties, all the registration fees to have a global package. And you're gonna see here on screen, we spent a bit more money to add more sinks, to add the oven that you saw and I am discuss so you can see on screen. It was still very reasonable in the Japanese market for a full independent house. The loan runs for 35 years at just about 1% interest rate. I know you're like 1% interest rate, especially if you're in Europe or the US. This is a really good deal. But remember, I'm in Japan and the policy of the Japanese central bank or the Bank of Japan as the official name is, is negative interest rate. So 1% is still quite high and it actually doubled in the past year since I started talking with the bank. And the rate can be revised every 10 years. The loan itself is guaranteed by a whole life insurance and it's actually guaranteed by the government. So there is no risk for the bank and no risk for me. But 
35 years is a long time and you remember from this video that I really like what Dave Ramsey is talking about so I intend actually to repay this house early. So as you can see it's not a bad deal at all and maybe the excitement in my voice is being communicated to you. I'm really happy about the house and the whole family is really happy about it. There's still a lot more to do and there is this first floor door that I still need to open to show you around. This is a secret door. This is a very special place. Here, let's come in. Follow me in our secondary apartment. Let me turn all the lights on for you. This is actually a full size one bedroom apartment just at the entrance. As you can see, we haven't used the wall space yet. We have a bookshelf, some workout equipment. We're still thinking out how to use it the best way, but there's something that's really important and really good. It's just behind me and just behind me is a fully equipped kitchen, meaning that this house has two kitchen and you can hear the echo a lot of people here because it's completely empty so we have a full kitchen we have here a complete storage area but that's not all if you come with me over here just behind me we have another guest room a total of four bedrooms for the time being there's nothing except my computer where i do all the editings and actually this computer is going to come in another place where i'm going to have my full editing area and one more full bathroom toilet and shower coming just here and actually our washing machine as well because the washing machine was upstairs but it's easier for us here to have two sinks from the one you saw upstairs so as you can see it's a great place there's a lot of space now we're gonna go back where we started and I want to see if you can notice the difference if I'm sitting here and looking at you does it sound familiar not yet let's try again and now you know where you've seen this place before. This is the actual studio and it looks really different depending on whether you have the blinds up or down. See, it's actually where I record all the videos. So I still have to figure out how to do this whole studio thing again, but that's usually where I'm sitting. Buying a house, whether it's for rental or to live in, it's always a big decision, but with a bit of preparation and a lot of help, it's completely feasible. If you're interested in real estate or interested in Japan, you can see a few videos here for you to continue watching. If you like this video or learn something, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Do not hesitate to leave any comment you would like below. Thank you again for watching and until next time, goodbye.